Ladies and gentlemen, what is going on? What is happening? It is time for more Legend Bowl. And like I said in the last two episodes, which if you have not been paying attention, go back and check out because that is the start of our season. But in that video, I said I did not want to know who we were facing, and I don't. And surprise, surprise, we are looking at the Pittsburgh Titans. That's right, we are on the road. So let's go ahead and get things cracking. We are going to start our drive from the 25-yard line, and it's a toss play to Noel. And my man Enzo is going to do what Enzo does. I don't, I don't know what else to tell you. Second down and five. We're going screen for Enzo. Catch is made. And he is going to get out of bounds at the 39-yard line, which is where we will start our first down and 10. We got Gail Chuck coming into the game. And Gail Chuck is going to run this one for a gain of 17 yards and a first down as we make our way into Pittsburgh territory, which is pretty much where we want to be. Third down and six. Vows is going to uncork one down the field, and that one is going to fall incomplete. We got my man Giovanni Melito setting up for the kick, and that kick is, I don't want to talk about that kick anymore. <laughs> my man had the range, but the accuracy was just not, it wasn't there, all right? It's not good. Gain of seven for Pittsburgh. That's going to make it second down and three. Mooring dropping back, looking downfield. And this pass is going to be complete to Michaels. As they pick up a first down. It's going to send a man in motion now. And this toss play goes to Bushner. And Bushner has room to run. And he is finally going to go down at the 26-yard line. Big gain for him. First down and 10 for the Titans. And it's a toss play to cool ball, and he will get dropped behind the line. My man jumped into the backfield and speared him like Bill Goldberg, all right? And it's another spear as Milo Hurst gets that tackle, and that is going to make it third down in a parking lot. Mooring dropping back. He's going to find cool ball, but he will not find a first down as he goes down at the 21-yard line. They're going to bring in their kicker. The kick is up, and the kick is in the back of the net where they want it to be, and they will take an early lead, 3 to nothing, right here in the first quarter. Nolan Vows is dropping back. We're going to find Gail Chuck, and that is a first down. And we, are, we plan on moving the chains a lot, all right? I don't know if y'all noticed, but we plan on doing that a whole bunch. Gorenson is down with a pulled calf muscle, and that's not what you want to see from your starting center, but that is why we kept Lester Jr., and he will fill in for him because, I mean, come on. You got to have a good center out on the field. Pass is complete to Chuck, and Chuck is going to take this one all the way to the 32-yard line. Great run after catch by him. And now we're going screen, and it's Noel. And this one is a touchdown as we take the lead 7-3 to three now, or maybe not. Kick is no good on the extra point. And I'm starting to think that it's not the kickers. It's, it's just me, all right? I'm not good at kicking. I'm not good at kicking on All-Pro Football 2K8. It just, it's not working out right now. Pass is complete. Michaels takes that one for a first down. That is gonna do it for the first quarter as we start with the second and it's second down and 10 now. Mooring, oh my goodness. We could have had the sack with Lorenzo Tyson. We jumped way too early. They pick up a gain of 10, but it's third down and inches and cool ball gets his block knocked off great tackle in the backfield by Demonte Tynes but my man is injured he has a pulled calf muscle as well and I don't know what's going on with everybody's calves but I would like to not have any more injuries Griffin makes the catch and he will take it into Pittsburgh territory finally going down at the 38 yard line 
We are gonna send Miller in motion. And Nolan Vows is gonna toss this one to Noel. And he is gonna pick up a gain of five yards in the process. Second down and five. And we've got Brandon Real with the catch as he reels in his first of the game. Nolan Vows now taking the snap. Looking right. Enzo Noel is always there. And he is always making his way towards the end zone as we put up another touchdown, making it 12 to three. And wouldn't you know it, we're going for two. I feel like we don't have to right now, but we're going for two regardless. We pick up the two point conversion. It is now 14 to three. And I'm feeling like we are in the driver's seat. Third down and 11, pressure was there. Cool ball makes the catch. We'll only pick up a gain of seven and we will get the ball back. Second down and 10. Looking downfield and the pass is complete to Andy Grady. My man is a pretty good receiver. I'm not gonna hold y'all, just letting y'all know. Pass was complete to Francie, but he got knocked out, could not survive the contact. Pittsburgh will get the ball back. And we will also get an offsides call, which I believe is the first in this entire series. Not just this season, but the entire series. I could be wrong. I might be, but it feels like it. Third down and seven now. Mooring dropping back a little bit too much. He is going to end up getting sacked. And that is going to take us to the close of the first half where we are currently leading 14 to three. And it feels like we're dominating, just not dominating on the scoreboard, if that makes sense. But we have kept them to less than 100 yards while putting up over 200. So we need to keep that momentum going because our defense is playing pretty well and our offense has shown up like they always have. But that was an extremely good run all the way to the 48 yard line and Pittsburgh is gonna start this half with some sense of momentum. Stiff makes the catch. He is gonna take this one to the 37 yard line. Second down and five now at the 32. They're gonna send a man in motion. Mooring has extra block. Gonna get rid of this one and it's Stiff crossing the line and it's a touchdown for the Pittsburgh Titans. It is now 14 to 10, and I still don't feel any sense of pressure. We're just doing our thing out here. It is what it is. Second down and 10, Nolan Vows dropping back. He's gonna find Bruce Francie, and Mr. Francie will pick up a gain of 13 on the play. Third down and seven now. Pass is complete and it's Brandon Real. No, he dropped it. We will set up for a field goal and the kick is no good. Not enough leg. And it will fall just short of the crossbar. First down and 10 for Pittsburgh. And that is a big loss of five on the play as Marty Calhoun came through like Bill Goldberg. I'm just saying, man, everybody is getting speared today. <laughs> they cannot pick up a first down. We will get the ball back first and 10, and we got Bruce Francie downfield getting tackled around the 42-yard line. First and 10 now. Nolan Vows has time, and he also has Enzo Noel. And for the third time today, Enzo has another touchdown my man is the MVP I don't care what nobody says this is already the makings of an MVP season for that guy but look at this Crumley will run this one all the way down to the 28 yard line great catch great run after catch and now look at cool ball fighting his way through the offensive and defensive line making it all the way to the end zone his first big run of the game if i'm not mistaken and we will get our next drive and we will immediately go backwards on that next drive 
Loss of five after the sack. Val's gonna send Bruce Francie in motion. Toss is the Enzo Noel, and the man is incredible. This little digital man is incredible. Gain of 14, I thought he picked up the first. It doesn't matter though, we're, gonna pick, we're not gonna pick it up there. Gail Chuck gets tackled behind the line. Loss of one, and it is go time here, people. We are now in the fourth quarter, and it is a four-point game. Savstano takes the catch and will go all the way into the end zone. Wow. Did not know he was that fast, but we know now, and we also have lost the lead. It is now 24 to 21, but when you have a running back like this, it probably won't be that score for that long. Third down and five. And we found Chance Roberts in the end zone. Nolan Vows perfectly floated that one to the end zone. Roberts was wide open, and that's the way you want to score. Almost every time. Savastano makes another catch and will finally go down at the 39-yard line. But it's third down and six from the 35, and we get a sack. Let's go. Needed that to happen. They're going to set up for a field goal, and the kick is good. It is now a one-point game, and I'm a little nervous now. All right, I wasn't worried earlier. Now I'm a little bit nervous, so we got to do something like we knew something. Gerald McRoberts on the run, and my man is gassed, but he is still going. He is still going. And he goes all the way to the Pittsburgh 17. Great return, but that was not a great play at all. We will lose four on it. Third and 14 now, and it looks like we are going for a screen. Two minutes and 20 seconds left to go. We are gonna find Enzo Noel, who dodges the first tackle. Ah, I thought he dodged the second, but he got out of bounds. We will set up for a field goal against my better judgment, but we will actually make it. We are one for three. That's a good thing. And we did miss an extra point, so it's not that great, but hey, he's been doing his thing. Don't worry about it. We will get the ball back, and it's Enzo Noel dodging a tackle, and he is off to the races going down at the 37 yard line third down and eight now from the 35 pass is complete to andy Grady, but that is going to be fourth down as we fail to pick up a first we will set up for a field goal and all right my man has two field goals on the game but there is still time left one minute 15 seconds pass is complete to stiff he will take that for a first down. 58 seconds left to go. First and 10 from the 35. Ah, Lorenzo Tyson was there, but he could not get the stop in time. Third down and 10. 35 seconds left to go. Passes out of bounds. Sailed over the receiver's head. And I'm not mad at it. I'm not mad at it at all. Fourth down and 10 now. And we need some defense. And we will get some defense. McRoberts pops the ball out because the catch was made. But the ball was popped out. And I'm thankful it was. We ended up with 410 total yards in the game compared to their 351. And after the first half, I really thought that it was going to be crazy for them. But in that second half, they flipped the switch. They stayed in the game as much as possible. But in the end, it is your Kansas City Coyotes picking up another solid victory over a solid team. And we are off to a good start. We are now 2-0, but the morale, oh my. My man has 19 morale. I hope he doesn't request a trade. Anyway, man, I've been me. You've been you. Until the next time we speak, I'm out.